Hey, what's going on guys? This is Michael Doss, CEO here. Uh, today we are going to be doing a review on the Moment Superfish Lens V2. Okay? Cool. So, as you guys know, I just created a YouTube channel. Um, I noticed that some of my viewers are also just brand new into the whole social media thing. They're trying to gain some followers. And maybe some of you guys are thinking of kind of like upping your game a bit, kind of like I did. Uh, if you notice my first couple videos compared to my future videos now, uh, the camera quality is a lot better. And honestly, I think that's because of this lens. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so this is the Moment lens. And this is the case that comes with the Moment lens. Um, I was a little bit upset that I had to buy this case off the start, but I'm not gonna lie, like the quality of it is actually solid. Um, it's a little bit thicker of a case than I prefer to use, but honestly, when my phone's in this thing, I, I know it's gonna be safe, and I really I really like the, the detail that they have in it. Long live the picture taker, they have moment right here. It's just, it really is honestly just a beautiful case, so no complaints about the case. Um, going to the lens here now, the lens is a lot heftier and a lot heavier than I expected. It's definitely not cheap quality. When you feel this thing, you can you can definitely tell that it is a good piece of equipment. So I was really impressed with that. Um, yeah, let's let's put it on though. Let's uh, let's take a look at the difference between the couple different shots uh, with and without the lens. Okay, so right here is about the field of view I'd say I normally would use for my videos. So as you can see, it's it's a lot more zoomed in now. It's all you're seeing really is this. And now watch, as I pop this lens on, you're gonna see how much better the overall field of view gets. Instantly, just by adding this little lens, you guys can see my entire background now. I'm more of a focal point. It's just everything that it does is honestly perfect for any YouTuber that's trying to start up their own channel. Uh, the only thing is I can no longer use um, the selfie camera. I now have to use the reverse camera, so that's a little bit annoying, but I feel like that's not too bad. I feel like that's a pretty decent compromise. So one of the negatives that I feel that, it's not really a negative of this lens, it's just, for anybody that might be doing the same thing that I did. I also bought, bought a Vimble with my lens. So right here, you can see this thing sticking out. And so in all my videos, whenever I use my gimbal and my moment lens, I actually have to crop a little bit of my picture out and it's really annoying. I'm not too sure how to fix this yet. So if anybody knows, please do leave a comment and let me know. That's really the only issue I've, I've come across is that it almost captures too much so when it captures too much, you kind of got to crop certain things out. Uh, my elbows will get in the way if my hand goes across the camera or like, like just a little bit past my phone. Like if I'm lifting my fingers up when I'm taking the picture, like you'll catch my fingers in there. So like lots of stuff like that can be a little bit annoying. But other than that, you know what? I definitely would recommend this lens for any beginner. Um, it's something that's just convenient to always have on you. And yeah, I think it's a great piece. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, please, if you guys got any good information out of this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is a brand new YouTube channel. I just started it up like two weeks ago. So yeah, help support me. Peace out.